So now let's show how we can convert a, a proposition logic formula into a CNF form. So suppose we have uh, breeze in 1, 1, if and only if, uh, pit in 1, 2, or pit in 2, 1. All right? So the way to um, simplify this into a CNF or rewriting this into a CNF form is first to eliminate the double implication or the, or the if and only if. And the reason is that we only want to use the connectives, the conjunction, the disjunction, and the negation, right? We are not allowed to use any double implication or implication in the form. All right, that's, that's easy. We know that B11, if and only if, this term here, could be written as the conjunction of uh, the implication from B11 to the right term. And, the, and P11 or P21 implies B11. So the first is to eliminate the double implication. The second step is to then eliminate the implication. We know, for example, from the previous slides that we have that alpha implies beta is logically equivalent to not alpha or beta. In other words, if you um, look at their truth tables, so if you do the truth table of alpha implies beta and not alpha or beta, you'll find that actually they have the same truth values. So these two are logically equivalent. All right, so if we have this, then we're going to replace this implication by not alpha or beta and this implication by not alpha or beta. Okay, so this implication would be what? Would be not P11 or P12 or P1 or P21. And this one would be uh, not P12 or P21. This is the negation of alpha or beta, which would be B11. All right. So the next step after, so now we, we, are, we are happy that we got rid of the implication and of um, uh, the double implication. Now we have only disjunction conjunction, but we want to write this as a conjunctive normal form, which is a conjunction of disjunction of literals. And it's not the case yet, right? Because we have the negation over brackets, and we know that actually uh, we need to use De Morgan's law to introduce the negation uh, over these uh, literals here. So the next step would be to... Uh, then to move the negation inwards using the Morgan's law and double negation. So this will lead us to this term is ready, right? So it's the disjunction of literals. This term here would be converted into not P12 and not P21 or B11. So this is uh, from this step to this step, it's the Morgan's law. All right, so now we're going to, so we have disjunction of literals. And here we don't have disjunction of literals. So I'm going to distribute the disjunction over the conjunction uh, to be able to represent that um, in, a form, in the form you want. The next step is to uh, apply distributivity uh, the, of the disjunction over the conjunction and to flatten out. All right, so uh, this term is not unchanged. It's in the desired form. This one will become uh, not P12 or B11. We're distributing this guy over the, the conjunction. And um, B12 or uh, not P21, all right? So, and now we have the conjunction of uh, three clauses that are actually disjunction of literals, which are positive or negative. So this is how we transform by this, actually these four steps. We eliminate the double implication. We eliminate the implication. We uh, use the Morgan's law to introduce the negation inside, and we flatten and distribute the disjunction over the conjunction to obtain the final result that is actually the conjunctive normal form. Let's now examine together the resolution algorithm that actually adopts a proof by contradiction. In other words, it uses, uh, it tries to show that, uh, in order to show that KB entails alpha, it's going to show that actually KB and the negation of alpha is unsatisfiable. Okay, so we have initially uh, a knowledge base, we have alpha, and this function PL resolution will return either true if KB entails alpha, false otherwise, all right? Okay, so initially we have KB expressed in proposition logic, alpha expressed in proposition logic. We build KB and negation of alpha that we, we transform into a CNF representation. So it's important that, you know, uh, that um, the clauses used are in CNF form. So uh, after this conversion, we are going to create new clauses. We have a set new equal to the empty set. And we are going to repeat the process of applying the resolution rule. In other words, the function here that we use is called PL resolve. We'll take two clauses, CI and CJ, and we'll resolve them. In other words, it will return the set of all possible clauses obtained by resolving the inputs. All right? So each pair is then uh, containing each pair containing complementary um, uh, literals will be resolved, and we produce new resolvents. 
If the resolvents contain the empty clause, empty clause means that actually that we reached a contradiction. And uh, actually, um, the two means that two of the clauses uh, resolve to nothing. And this is a contradiction. This means that we need to return true because uh, KB and the negation of alpha is unsatisfiable. Uh, in this case, um, we're going to return true. I otherwise, if the resolvent does not contain the empty close and we are not updating, creating any new resolvent, then we are going to um, return false, means that KB does not entail alpha, does not entail alpha, or there are no new clo uh, closes added to KB, right? So uh, this, these are the two outcomes. We are going to continue the process of resolving each pair of closes until either we come up with the empty close, nothing to do anymore, uh, there is a contradiction, then KB in first alpha, or uh, we are not generating new closes anymore, which means that we are done, KB and negation of alpha is actually satisfiable. So this is how uh, the resolution algorithm uh, works. So let's see the resolution algorithm through this example. Suppose we have a knowledge base in which we have root R2 and root R4. So this constitute the, you know, the conjunction of uh, these two terms here, B11, not negation of B11, and B11 equivalent to P12 or P21. We want to prove that actually this knowledge base actually entails the formula not P12. To do so, we're going to consider KB and the negation of uh, not P12, which would be the negation of the negation of P12, which is equivalent to KB and P12. So we take P KB and P12. This is what we want to prove contradiction on. In other words, we want to show that this is actually not satisfiable, right? So I'm going to first start by writing KB and the negation of uh, alpha, which is KB and P12, as a, in a CNF form. This will lead us to the proposition not P21 or P11, and this second formula uh, close, and this second close, and etc. So it is the conjunction of this junction of literals. All right, so P12 comes from actually the negation of alpha. All right, so then PL resolve will take pairs of closes and resolve them. So for example, if I take this close here and this close here, and resolve, let's say, for P21, so we have here P21 and P21 here, so this is the negation of this literal here, this two will resolve to bring me uh, to the resolution form of negation of B11 or P12 or B11. So this two will resolve and we obtain this new um, uh, resolvent here. We're going to do the same thing for, we obtain this one by resolving these two terms here. And here we are simplifying, so we have P12, uh, P21 and um, P12, so we're going to resolve based on the B11. So if we uh, actually resolve uh, B11 and negation of B, B, B11 and the negation of B11, we're going to get rid of that and we obtain only uh, these three terms here. And so on and so forth, so we're going to take all pairs. And it happened that actually as we keep going, um, resolving the process go is going on, we're going to reach a, a point in which we have the resol resol uh, resolving P12 and negation of P12, which will bring us to the empty close. The empty close means actually that KB and the negation of alpha is not satisfiable. In other words, KB actually does entail alpha. All right, so this is how the resolution algorithm works.